All right, I'm taking a step back from electric football today, and I'm going to give a little product review here on this mini pool table I picked up over the weekend. It measures 20 inches long by 12 and a half inches wide. Um, if I recall correctly, the brand name is Hayplay. However, there is no branding on this unit. Um, uh, this costs about as much as one package of Tudor Fab Five painted electric football figures, so I couldn't pass this up. A pretty good deal. Uh, for that price, I did not expect very good quality, and uh, uh, believe it or not, I am actually pretty impressed with how well this thing's put together, and uh, I'll talk more about that. Uh, and that's rich coming for me because I'm always complaining about how everything is such piss poor quality this day and age. But I've been looking for some other games to play from time to time and uh, record some gameplay and upload to the channel here. Um, I think I had one of these, or something much like it, when I was a little boy, 35, 40 years ago. Uh, it seemed larger to me, but then everything did. Uh, uh, you can get these even smaller than this, but what would be the point? There would be no playing surface. And you can also get larger mini pool tables, and um, I would recommend that if you have the space, but I do not. And even this small unit, I'm really cramped for space trying to play it in my room here. But for all intents and purposes, this is a billiards table. Uh, it comes with uh, actual scaled-down billiard balls. Those aren't uh, cheap plastic balls by any stretch of the means. I think that the diameter is about one and a half inches on the pool ball. It comes with some 19-inch cue sticks, a pair of them, uh, made out of wood. Uh, I can't really speak on the quality of the cue sticks. They're not bent, uh, at least the ones I, I received. Um, and it also comes with a little brush to maintain the felt on the table and some chalk for the cue sticks and a plastic triangle to rack up your billiard ball. Now, um, this uh, particular model, uh, I may have already said, had the branding of Hay Play on the internet when I picked it up. Uh, there is no branding on the table anywhere. It came in a, a plain brown box and the box did have a hole in it. I was uh, concerned that uh, the product would be damaged, but luckily it was not. Uh, now, this table is made out of wood, well, fiberboard. It's not plastic, as I expected it to be. Now, these little corners are plastic, and the ball return wells beneath the table are both plastic, but they're screwed into the wood pretty well. Um, the felt is put on the table pretty well. Maybe maybe a little loose beneath the cushions here, but that doesn't really uh, uh, impact gameplay at all. Um, now, if I haven't already said, the, uh, the uh, dimensions here are 20 inches long, 12 and a half inches wide, uh, but that's not accounting the cushions and the, the frame itself, so the playing surface is smaller than that. Now, the billiard balls are not to scale with the table, and that's probably a compromise that uh, I would have to agree with. Any smaller in these balls would be very, very difficult to hit with the cue sticks. Now, I have played several games of 8-ball on this, and I'm not ready to to say whether the table is perfectly balanced. Uh, there's not a lot of bounce on the cushions, and that may be a, a purposeful a compromise with such a small playing surface. If the balls bounce too much, uh, you'd have balls uh, going into the pockets on every single shot. But like I said, this is a pool table, and you can play pool on it. Now, can you play it with any great proficiency? Probably not as a beginner. Um, but I have seen videos on YouTube of professionals, or at least very skilled players, doing some really cool things with little mini pool sets like this. Lots of lots of little trick shots and stuff. So uh, if you have skill, you can pull that kind of stuff off. But like I said, I wasn't expecting very high quality for such a low price. But I am pleasantly surprised. I mean, it's not it's not great, but it's not terrible either. And like you know, this day and age, uh, not terrible is 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 a, is a rare thing. More and more. Everything you buy is terrible, regardless of the price. But do watch out for uh, knockoffs and uh, cheap imitations of mini pool tables like this. Um, there, there are a lot, dozens uh, of mini pool tables on the market. Some of them are of exceptionally poor quality, as evidenced by the reviews for those products. This particular unit is probably the most favorably reviewed mini pool table on Amazon. Um, but keep in mind, uh, you can't just look at the five-star reviews uh, on, on those kinds of things because, you know, the vast majority of those five-star reviews were not written by customers. In fact, they weren't written by humans. Uh, meanwhile, you can't just look at one-star reviews 
on the internet. Otherwise, you'll be afraid to buy anything ever again because you know, it's, there's always someone out there that has a, a negative experience with every product on the market. That's just something to keep in mind. I focus more on the two, three, and four star reviews. And my review of this is, is probably three stars. Like I said, not great, not terrible. Um, and it's not so much that I'm impressed with the high quality as I'm, I'm impressed that it doesn't flat out suck. And uh, I will add, your mileage may vary uh, in that regard. Um, is it sturdy? Well, it doesn't weigh a whole lot, so it's, gonna, it's, it's very easy to uh, accidentally bump the table and uh, pop balls near the pockets. Uh, totally by accident if they're near those pockets so that's something to watch out for it's it's compact i mean it's easy to store i can put this under my bed with with no problem whatsoever uh, the ball return holes are quite small so you you know long sinewy fingers will will aid in getting those out of there um and if you leave them all in there during gameplay when you scratch uh, when the uh, cue ball goes in off uh, it might be difficult to to fish it out of out of the, the pool of balls in the ball returns which is why I just take the balls out every single time um, uh, I, I pot a ball. But I guess the biggest question viewers may have is, well, how does it play? I might not be the right person to ask folks. I'm not a, a, a professional billiards player. I'm, in fact, I hadn't, until I picked this up, I hadn't played pool in probably two decades. Um, in fact, I can barely even remember the rules of uh, eight ball. But, and... Uh, Gameplay may look a little squirrely as the camera continues to go in and out of focus. My shadow on this cell phone camera causes that to happen. Nothing I can do about it. But we'll take just a few shots here. Um, like I said, there's not a lot of bounce off these cushions. Uh, so you're going to find that the balls tend to hug the cushions. The cue ball especially. So uh, you're going to have to learn how to do some bridge shots to uh, accommodate that. For what this is, it's fine. Um, it's a nice little... Uh, a gift, uh, and it's a great little thing to have on your coffee table or in a small uh, quarters where you don't have space for a larger unit. Uh, and again, the balls are not to scale with the table in uh, any measure. So, um, this thing does come with chalk to put on the cue stick. That's nice, and that chalk actually does assist in. Uh, hitting these balls. Don't be afraid to uh, slam these things. Uh, if the unit can take it. At least up to now it can. And, uh, you know, with good technique you can probably separate this break, but I, I don't have good technique, so you know, it is what it is. Let's see. Let's see what I can accomplish here. This seems to be my preferred uh, bridge for a break on this unit. Uh, there is no there are no dots or diamonds or lines on the table to tell you where to put these balls. But let's just see what we can do here. So as you can see, I mean, they even it kind of sounds like a, a micro pool table. Um, it's actually not a bad break, was it? But uh, I'll just uh, run through some shots here. We won't abide by the well. I guess we could abide by the uh, the rules of pool. I I suppose. As you can see, it's hard to get, ever get your hand on the uh, the table itself to make your shots. And uh, you have to master the art of backspin in order to keep your cue ball from following your your balls into the pocket. Very close, almost didn't. And, uh, uh, yeah, no shot here, but let's just see what happens if I really slam this, try to hit that seven ball. I don't think I can hit it. I might go right into the... Uh, side pocket here with the cue ball. Well, there you go. But no, you can definitely play uh, eight ball or nine ball with this unit. Now, I don't know if this company or any other company makes snooker balls at this scale. It'd be cool. I'd love to learn how to play snooker. There is a, an English comedian named Richard Herring who has, for the past year or so, has been playing snooker in his attic by himself. And recording it and uploading it on YouTube, it is hilarious to watch and listen to. But I don't understand the rules of snooker at all. Uh, let's assume player two now has control of the uh, of the ball. And uh, this is an awkward shot now because of the uh, 
uh, tripod here. You might have to look at the back of my head for that. I do apologize. Uh, oh, bad shot. Okay. Uh, player one. I suppose I could sit here and just see the uh, the cue ball, and the balls do tend to hug the uh, cushions on a small unit like this. And uh, I don't like that bridge. I don't like this one either. Don't particularly like that one. I don't. I don't know if I can make this six ball shot or not. There we go. But might be able to knock the two in if I hit this hard enough. There we go. And the one ball. Now four balls an easier shot, but I don't think I'll nail any of them. Yeah. Better to just separate the balls down the, the table. See, still it's on the cushion, but player two has a Pretty good shot here on the 15, if I can get enough backspin on it to not scratch. Oh, I missed. Scratched anyway. Okay. Folks, I'm not a uh, billiards aficionado by any stretch of the means. This is a jolly fun, though. It's a, you know, it is what it is. It's not, I'm not going to call it high quality, but it's not poor quality. And that's why I would rate it three stars. And in this day and age, that's something. Again, apologize if you see my head in this shot. Actually, that was a nine ball. The player one shouldn't have hit that. Now, the one ball is still up here. Uh, let's just try to sneak some holes and forego the rules of pool. What do you say? Oh, okay. Well, and when they all clump up here in the top, which they tend to do, you know, it can make finding a way to put your fingers on the table here to make a bridge without touching the balls, which is a foul, kind of difficult. Not too bad. Just sink some balls here. Try not to scratch in the process. And uh, if you're in a cramped quarters, folks, something like this at least give you something to do, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Oh, not hard enough. Okay. There's a shot. We're we're foregoing the rules of eight ball here. I'm just trying to demonstrate. How this plays, and uh, finally I can get my hand on the table here and try to actually make a decent shot. Almost, almost. But you know, you can get on YouTube right now and do a search for mini pool trick shots and see some spectacular stuff. It's not impossible. Will require some practice and some skill. Okay. Well, might be able to sink that 15 now. Let's see. There we go. And like I said, you can accidentally move these balls around if you're too uh, uh, if you're too. Uh, I don't even know what the word I'm looking for is. If you jostle the table like I'm doing right now, you can see all the balls moving. There we go. 11 ball should be an easy shot. I actually intended to play a, a full demo here. Gotta be careful here and not scratch, but. Oh, okay. Well, folks, you get the idea, right? Uh, with some uh, practice and skill, you can become pretty uh, proficient at mini pool. And uh, viewers of my, regular viewers of my channel, we might get this out from time to time and just have some little. Tournaments, me versus me, the way Richard Herring does, except instead of snooker, we'll be playing eight ball. And the cool thing about playing yourself against yourself in, in eight ball is that both opponents are of equal skill. So that's not a good bridge. There we go. Gotta be careful not pot the eight ball or it's all over. Eh, not a bad try. Now it's an easy shot down here, though. Like I said, we've thrown the rules out the window here. I'm just trying to demonstrate how this plays. Pretty good shot. And uh, For those of you saying, well, why wouldn't you give this a five-star rating if you're satisfied with it? Because I'm not over the moon with it. Um, I wish there was more bounce off the cushions. I wish the balls didn't live on the uh, 
edges of the table all the time, but you know, for the price, I don't expect a professional pool table. Oh, that was a dangerous, risky, and perhaps stupid shot right there. But, uh, let's see if I can get the 12 in there. Pretty hard, pretty hard shot here. You, you can go ahead and give this the beans on this table. It, it won't hurt it. So that's that's good as well. And four ball. Uh, bad miss. Now I don't know the rules of nine ball, but you could probably play that on this as well. I think that wouldn't be a problem at all. That could, if I'd have hit that harder, that might have gone in. I'm gonna try the same thing here on the four ball. It'd be awesome if I could get the four and the 14 in, wouldn't it? That would uh, validate this entire uh, upload. If I could pull off something like that. Nope. All right. Well, can at least get the. Uh... Oh, let's try a trick shot. I'm gonna try to bounce off this bank, bank off this cushion, and go into the knock the one in. Difficult to do on. Uh, a little table like this, folks. If you hit it hard enough and have the proper cue stick technique, you might pull it off. I'll probably just scratch or something funny. Yeah, it's a good effort. Well, at least now, if I, I can at least pop the uh, one ball, I might go in off with it, though. Okay, cool. And, uh... Uh... It's compact if you live in a small area. Yeah. Didn't go as planned. Uh, I just remembered the behind the back shot, which I haven't done in decades, so we'll forego that. Oh, a bad miss. Uh, finally, sorry if you can see my head. Okay. And there we go. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll call, I'll try to knock the eight ball into the corner over here. We'll see. Probably, probably not possible. I'm going to hit it pretty hard, though. <laughs> Okay, this should do it if I line this up properly. This is they're all rail shots, basically, if you know your pool, so um, there it is. And uh, even though we committed so many fouls uh, during this demonstration, that's how uh, this pool table plays. Again, I'm in no position to uh, uh, make a, a judgment on whether it's perfectly balanced or whether there's a slope in the table or anything like that. But uh, for the money, uh, decent value. Uh, I'm not disappointed with this purchase, uh, which is a sentence I haven't said in a long time. And that is something to be uh, said for this at least, and indeed at most. So there it is. I think this is a hay play mini pool table, but again, uh, it has no branding on it, so I can't be... Uh, I have to go look at the invoice on my order to be absolutely certain. Um, just do your homework on a purchase like this. Try to avoid the knockoffs that have that are missing components or have misprints on the uh, billiard balls, or um, or just flat out suck. Uh, this one does not. It's all right, and uh, that's high praise coming from me. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Talk to you again soon.